everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels, and if you are new to my channel, hi. I hope that you do stick around because this is a primarily Disney-oriented channel. I love Disney, I love talking about Disney with you guys, and today I'm going to be doing my latest Disney Park haul. So these are my bags. I actually have a couple of bags, but I'm going to do something that I don't normally do in my channel, and that is I'm going to try to organize myself and do the non-pin items first. That way if you're just here to see the merch you'll see that first on my channel and then if you want to stick around and see what pins i got this latest month um, as well you can stick around for that as well so my hauls are usually pretty long so i'm just gonna go right into them i'm gonna start with some of the most exciting items my most recent disneyland trips i did have the chance to go in july and i have an announcement to make if you haven't already seen on my instagram account if you aren't following me there it's at plays and travels same as my YouTube channel, except that there are no spaces. Um, I announced on my Instagram account that for my anniversary, uh, my nine year anniversary actually, of being married to my husband, as a wedding gift, he went ahead and said, you have the okay to go get and get an annual pass. So that is my big, big, big announcement that I am finally, after three years <laughs> of a, a small, slow period, I am finally, once again, an annual pass holder which means that I can go to the parks a lot more frequently than I used to. And what I basically have is I have the Flex Pass, which is why I even became a pass holder. It's a cool new, it's a cool new concept that Disney is now offering where you can go um, up to two times a month, you can make a reservation, and if the day is blocked off, as long as Disney doesn't foresee it being too crowded that day or too many reservations haven't been booked for that day, you can go ahead and book it in advance and you get to go to the park. On that day so far I've been able to just pick whatever day I wanted um, weekend weekday it doesn't matter and I've been able to go it's been phenomenal and I've used it a couple times I think I've gone four times since getting my pass in July my anniversary was actually in June but I waited until our family trip to actually activate it because it doesn't um, your annual pass starts from the day that you activate it not from the day that you first go into the park so I wanted to make sure that my first day of activation was going to be an actual park day so I can get the most out of it. But at any rate, here I am to show you what items I got as part of my July haul and then some frequent trips I've made for pins and whatnot. So my first item, <laughs> it's these ears. It's these ears that I was so looking forward to having on my channel the second I saw they were announced. And these are the new Little Mermaid ears. You can see that the ears themselves are actually like seashells and it's an adorable little design. I think they're actually really, really cute, and they do have like this nice uh, metallic sheen in the uh, green bow as well. They're like translucent with little mermaid scales all over the place. So that makes for a very fun design. This again is a sea spell design. I'm not digging the ends on this that much just because they look a little funny when they're actually on you, I think. But I like the rest of this ear, so we'll make an exception. Um, and then the other thing that they have here is that they have the little mermaid. Ariel herself is on this side of the ear and then on this side it says mermaid hair don't care so it's definitely a cute little design for 2019 i think they're adorable i like they're not dated however because some of the newer ears this year have been dated and i like that this doesn't have a date that you can wear it whenever so definitely a fun pair of ears little mermaid lovers unite hey hey i definitely made sure that was one of the first things that i got on my disney trip the next item i picked up was actually from the mickey pop-up and this is an exhibit that is running until September 2nd. It'll, they'll be ending they'll be ending on that date, so they are offering a new promotion where you can go in and get a discounted ticket. I still haven't done it, so I might do that. Now that the, tis, the, now that the tickets, which are $30 to get in and take pictures, are now 40% off, so that might be a better deal. But at any rate, I had picked this item up previously and then sold it in my live sale, so I got another one for myself. And this is a Mickey popcorn bucket. I do like the translucent yellow design. I think he's so cute in this like nice vibrant color. And then what's cool is that this popcorn bucket actually came with the popcorn included. And this is a banana and raspberry popcorn flavor. Um, it's kind of stuck in here. Well, let me take this off. But this is the popcorn. You can see it right there. It says Pop-Up Disney. And I have never tried banana and raspberry popcorn. This sounds like it might be really, really sweet, but I will try it and let you guys know. And it did come with the popcorn bucket. 
even though they price this differently when you ring it up, and this is actually a $15 item and this is a $6 item, they would not allow you to buy them separately, so you did have to pay the $20 um, base price to get this together. But I think this is a fun, fun design, and I'm digging my Mickey Mouse popcorn bucket. I'm really into my popcorn buckets lately, and I do like that the strap has like little Mickeys all over it as well, and it says Disney Park. So this is a very fun item, and I was very excited to see it at the pop-up, and it's one of those things that I knew that I wanted to get whenever I got a chance to go back to Disney, and I did. On one of my most recent trips, I picked this up for a friend, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. This is probably one of the hottest items right now, and it is, the Haunted Mansion Wishables. So these I actually purchased for a friend. She knew that these were coming out and asked me to pick them up. So I made a trip just to pick them up for my friend. So I am not gonna open this on my on my channel, unfortunately, but I did get her four different bags to hopefully let her get the entire set. You say have one, two, three, and four bags right here. This is for my friend to potentially get all four of them. I am by no means an expert and can't feel my way through, so I have no idea if she has the entire set. But just to show you what comes with these, um, if you aren't familiar, Wishables are like the newest Disney trend. There's a little mini plush included in every single bag. They retail at $10 each. You get one plush in a bag, and these are the four choices. You have Constance, the hat box ghost, which is exclusive to the Disneyland ride, I believe, um, Phineas and Ezra. Those are all from the Haunted Mansion attraction, and that is what is included in this bag. You will only get one. I have previously only opened the Little Mermaid one and the Pirates of the Caribbean one, however, so I don't know what these look like yet, but I can't wait for my friend to try them and to let me know what she got. These do also see limited release in the corner because this is a limited release item that will not be at Disney forever, but just while supplies last. So I got her these four. And then just to potentially complete the set, I also got her this Haunted Mansion Wishable. And this is the only one that was sold out of the bag. So you could just get this one at retail, the same price for $10. And this way she has potentially all five of the Haunted Mansion collection. Um, and I just like that he has like a nice soft fluffy beard. But this is potentially what all the Wishables will look like. You can see they're like really nicely well-made stuffed animals. And I just think they're for my most recent trip, I also picked up Park Maps because I did have one of my subscribers ask me to pick this up for her. So I'm gonna go look back through my notes to see who it was. I think it might've been Jennifer, if I'm making, I'm making that up. But at any rate, if this was you, let me know. I picked you up some maps, you have it. One of the items I'm most excited about my most recent trip, which I made last week as I'm filming this, they came out with these new ornaments in Disney World. I knew about them because a fellow YouTuber friend of mine posted it on her Instagram page and I was like, I want those so badly, but when I asked about them in Disneyland, in Downtown Disney, they hadn't heard of them, they didn't know what I was talking about. And so on my most recent trip, I was in the park and I went to a cast member and I said, where are Christmas ornaments currently being sold? Because I know in the past they were sold in a little shop in the New Orleans Square area. That shop is now since closed. And they've pointed me to one Christmas shop that just happens to be right by the castle entrance. When you come to the entrance and you're going to Fantasyland, there is a Christmas shop there. So I went and lo and behold, they had these items that I'm about to show you and I got super excited. And these are the two that I bought. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You guys have seen the ears, the Disney ears that are everywhere that are just really, really popular, right? Disney went and upped themselves and they made these babies. How cute is this? This is like the little fairy princess ears that are currently being sold in the parks. You can see it has the tall veil in the back and everything, and it even has the fairy wings on the very top with the nice little uh, a gem right in the center. This is just so cute and adorable, and this is an ornament, so you can put this on your Disney tree come Christmas time. I am just beyond excited for this item. I cannot wait to use this and put it on my Christmas tree. I have primarily an all Disney tree at this point. It's not all Disney ornaments, but it's mostly Disney ornaments, and this will be something new to add. I definitely get new ornaments every year, and I love this idea of adding the ears. And this is the other one that I got. I have been looking at these ears on and off and forever, never got them because I wasn't sure if I liked the all silver color but I saw the ear ornament version and I knew I had to have it I got these oh my gosh look at the bling bling you can see it has a castle right in the center and just like the ear version of this it has a gold bowl a gold bow on top of silver ears this is just really really cute 
And this, along with this, will be part of my Disney tree come this Christmas. Yay! So I, I'm loving this, loving it. And that was by far the item that I was hoping to find in the park, so I was just stoked to find that and make that happen. Another great find that I wasn't expecting to make in the park were these. I just happened to go into, I think it was the store that you are led to after the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique experience. There was a store right in Fantasyland. It's near where they have like the stage show with the princess like storytelling every day. And there was a store right there that happened to have Disney jewelry and I saw this item and I thought this might be really cute to get for my daughter. She just did have a birthday and I know that I'm past birthday purchasing time, but I wanted her to have something special from the parks. So I saw these ear headband earrings and I got them for her. Look how delicate these are. They are silver studded ears and I just thought this would be really fun. I mean, I would just enjoy wearing them myself. I might even have to borrow them from her, but I thought this was just such a cute gift idea and I thought they were adorable, so I got them. And the retail price on this was $14.99. So very much enjoying this. And if you saw my most recent unboxing, Gifts from Mickey actually sent me these ears as well as Bibbidi Bobbidi boxes. So that's why I'm wearing it for my Disney Parks unboxing because of my newest pair of ears. And anyway, Gifts from Mickey actually sent me a jewelry item for my daughter as well. So together with this, she's gonna just have a burgeoning Disney Parks jewelry collection to rival most people. I mean, I'm definitely spoiling her, but I just thought this was such a gorgeous, gorgeous set. And finally, I posted on my Insta, should I do this? Should I not do it? I think 99% of everybody, if not 100% of everyone said, yes, go ahead and do it. So you saw the ornament. I bought the ears. <laughs> I couldn't resist. So I now have the ears. And like I said, I was on the fence for these for a really long time. I didn't know if I want to get them or not. Oh, there's a piece of hair. I wore them earlier. Um, but I wasn't sure if I wanted them because silver just isn't my color and I don't know if you guys can see it I think it's slightly out of frame but I already have a silver pair that my mother-in-law gave to me and I just I don't wear silver that often however I really do like the castle embellishment in the bow and I just thought these were so beautiful so I went ahead and bought these and they're now part of my ears collection. One of these days I'll have to do an ears video for you guys, but I just really like this pair and they are one of the pairs this year that I was just like, should I or shouldn't I for the longest time? And so I did it. I'm very happy to be owning these ears finally because this is the one that got away and I'm so excited. With these, with these, with Ariel, done. <laughs> for now. When I went with my family, I actually did do the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique experience, and this is what they give you. I'm going to do a separate video just on that alone for anyone that's interested in seeing what happens during that experience. So I will show you what came in this bag um, in that video. I will save that. I'll just save, film it separately for that. But this is just a really cute backpack in general, and that experience was really fun. So I will do a separate video on that, but my daughter did get dressed up like a little princess, a little diva princess that she is in her mind, and she enjoyed it a lot. When I was picking up the Haunted Mansion wishables, I had to grab another for a future swap that I'm doing. Um, the person that I have is a big Haunted Mansion fan, so even though I have this an extra one, I'm still not going to open it on my channel because this is for yet another friend. But I did grab this for them, and I couldn't resist, so I went ahead and grabbed one more wishable bag for myself because I am still yet to get Ursula or Ariel. I'm very excited to get one of those. I already have two Sebastians and I have not gotten Scuttle, but I am in want of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this toward the end of the video when I get to the pins, but you guys will see what new Wishable I have on my channel very soon. And finally, before I get to the pins, I have two more items. One I already shipped out to my friend, so I'm gonna insert a clip of what that was, but it was a Lion King exclusive that just came out for the new live action film. And my friend asked me to pick it up for her, so I did go ahead and pick it up for her and sent it to her, and it's on its way if it hasn't arrived already. And so I will show you that clip because I don't longer have it. So since becoming a pass holder, I have been able to go into the pass holder section of California Adventure, which is specially um, just for um, pass holders, and that's where I pick this up as well as an AP sipper. And this I got from my friend Heather. She asked me to pick up a popcorn bucket that was just released at Animal Kingdom. You can see this has kind of like the sun symbol from the Lion King. And then if I go to the other side, you have the actual um, Simba from the new film, the live action. So this is actually a really nice intricate design. And my friend asked me to pick this up for her and I was like, no problem. 
If I could definitely do a, a, gift, a favor for one of my friends, I will try to. I do like this Disney Parks lanyard on here has Simba's face and the sun symbols as well. It's tied in a knot, which is how it came, so I'm not going to undo it. I'll let Heather do that. Um, and this, Heather is from the Disney Housewife. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen her channel, go check it out. So I'll just show you real quick the opening of the popcorn bucket. And this is the lid. It comes off, and that is the interior. So, very simple. You could have filled this up with popcorn. Of course, I did not because I wanted to give her a pristine and clean bucket. But she'll be getting this in the mail very shortly for me, and I wanted to share it in my channel in the meantime. And I'm also going to send her this California Adventure map as well. Just a taste from the park. And then in addition to the bucket that I picked up from my friend, I also went and got the new annual pass holder exclusive item, and that was this. This is the AP Sipper. You could only get it if you were an annual pass holder. You can see the back of the design. It's very intricate, and it looks just like the live action film of Lion King. So there is Simba right there on front. It's just like a, you can see a rhino right here. It's like a nice little design. Definitely carved out of wood. And then here, this is actually a flute design that if you blow into it, it sounds off like a wood, a wooden flute. And this is just so, so gorgeous. I love it so much. Is that an elephant? Oh my gosh, these are the tusks of an elephant. You even have Timon down here. Oh my goodness, this is just really cute. I'm just looking at it for the first time, like anew. So this is fun. There's a giraffe right here. I love giraffes. There's actually giraffes in my daughter's nursery slash room. Love it. I love this entire design. It's gorgeous. So very fun. Um, is that Rafiki on the side? I'm just like finding new things. At any rate, very fun design and I can't wait to use it. I actually haven't used it yet, but I did blow on the flute and I'll show you what I mean. There you go. But at any rate, I felt really, really excited about this and the bucket until I realized today when I was shopping at the Disney Studio Store in Hollywood, they actually have this and the bucket for sale in El Capitan, which is the theater, the official Disney theater that you can go to to watch The Lion King. They have these exclusive Disney Parks items for sale there, so I felt a little gypped. I was like, I could have just gone to Hollywood and gotten them. But at any rate, this was an annual pass holder exclusive, or if you're going to El Capitan. There's a hint. It's the exact same item. I saw them today. <laughs> and then my final non-pin item was a lollipop set. My daughter asked me to get it for her, so we went and grabbed it. I don't normally get the Parks candy, but you can see here's a lollipop set with three lollipops, naturally and artificially, artificially flavored. And I actually grabbed two, so I will be including this in my next giveaway, so stay tuned for that. When I reach 1,500 subscribers, guys, I will be doing a Parks giveaway with mostly outlet items, but I've been waiting to get to that milestone, so let me get there. Share this video. Share it with your friends. Okay, so the rest of the items, with the exception of this next item I'm going to show you, are all pins. So we're now reached the pin haul. But first, becoming an annual pass holder, one of the very first stops I made on my second trip, once my family was no longer in tow and I had more time to myself, I went to the Lion King exhibit and I took a picture and I also grabbed this annual pass holder magnet. So happy to finally have an annual pass holder magnet. I've never actually owned one before. I don't know if they even had these when I was a pass holder the last time, but they do have them now and they have a whole AP corner just for annual pass holders to pick this up. So I grabbed this and then I also grabbed the annual pass holder button. This is the current button that they have for annual pass holders and you do see it says Lion King 2019 with Disney California Adventure. So that is only, these are the two items that you can only get if you are an annual pass holder and I made sure to make it official by getting these. Then I picked up a number of um, the latest Goofy Train pass holder pin that you had to be a pass holder to get. I picked those up for friends, however, so I no longer have them, but I'll insert a clip if I have it of what it looks like or a picture, and they were gorgeous, gorgeous pins. This one is actually my friend's um, that I'm going to mail tomorrow, so that's why I'm filming it right now at nighttime. This is a annual po this is an annual pass holder bi-monthly pin. This is a Goofy Train um, pin, part of the Train annual pass holder series that they're doing. They are coming out bi-monthly, so every other month there is a new one released. And this is the one that follows the Minnie Mouse one that was last released. Um, so far they had Walt Disney, then Mickey, then Minnie, and now Goofy. And you can see Goofy is in kind of like what looks like a Space Mountain train um, car to me. And what's cool about these pins is that every single one of these connects to the other. I showed Minnie Mouse in my last haul. But this is a pretty cool pin, and my friend Jesse. Um, who is an annual pass holder but was blocked out of the park the day that this was released asked me to get this for her so I did so this is the goofy pin 
and it is a bi-monthly series of I think 2000. I don't want to take this out because this is her pin, not mine, but you can see it's a pretty cool pin right there. And I do like that it has the connectivity factor with the other annual pass holder train pins in this series as well. In addition to that one, Jessie asked me to go and pick this one up for her daughter, and this is a Disney Hunchback of Notre Dame pin. This is part of the pop-up book series. I'm really excited for the Bell one that comes out this month um, in August. I can't wait for that. But you can see this is also another limited edition pin, and there is Quasimodo standing on the balcony of his home, and he is holding out his hands to what looks like a bunch of birds in his hand, so that looks pretty cool. And when you open it up, the pin opens and reveals Quasimodo as the fool. And of course, this is a scene where he is being um, praised. This is after he's been taunted, but uh, I think he also receives some praise in that scene as well. And Esmeralda is behind him. So a very cool scene depicting France and that whole movie in general. I think it's one of the sleeper hits from Disney. Personally, I actually really do like it. And this says, Once upon a time, Quasimodo, longing to be part of the world beyond his lonely bell tower, Descended from the cathedral and joined in the topsy turvy doo -doo 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 -doo, celebration of the Festival of Fools uh, below. So that is what that says, and pretty cool. So, yeah, each one of these pins is kind of like a little book series and it pops up with a little 3D effect. So, this is the Hunchback pin, and I do believe that my friend's daughter is collecting all of these, which is why she asked me to pick this one up for her as well. And I thought it was too cool of a pin to go without showing on this channel because it's pretty neat. These are the sleeper hits from this year. It's the Crest of the Kingdom series. It comes out monthly only in Disneyland. And every time it says something specific to the attraction that's being celebrated. This one says Navigatio Latissimus Circamundi, which I believe means navigating around the world. Something along those lines, which means it's a small world after all. And then you also have the iconic Small World icon right there with the boat with all the kids. This is a really cute pin. And like the other Crest of the Kingdom pins, this opens up. You can see the inside has the goat from the ride. Reminds me of Sound of Music. High on the hill is a lonely goat herd. Lay, oh, lay, oh, lay, hee, hoo. Anyway, so there's flowers, a mountain, and the goat. Really cute. So definitely a fun hinge pin from the season. This one I got from a friend, so I don't have it to keep, but I am showing to you before I drop it off to her in just a couple minutes. I also picked this pin up for a friend and I grabbed an extra. So I do have the latest Windows of Magic pin that was released. And this is from the Jungle Book and you can see it has Baloo and Mowgli in a really fun design. This actually looks a lot nicer in person. And then the very bottom is actually Bagheera. So I do like the way this is constructed and this is an official Disney Parks pin that came from the parks. I'm thinking I might hold on to this, however, for my next live sale, which I'm gonna probably do in the next week. So if someone's interested in purchasing this, you can. I'm gonna announce it um, very, very soon. I'll probably do like an in impromptu live on he here on YouTube to say when the date will be, and then I will actually have a live on Instagram again where you can go ahead and claim some prizes. Cause I do have some Disney goods that I wanna make available to you guys. If you're available, I know a lot of people don't have access to the parks, and I go there a lot, so I've been collecting items for you guys to have access to. And this is one of them. So yay to this Windows and Magic pin. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so this is actually a pin that you could have picked up at the Shop Disney website. However, this is also one that you can get in the Disney parks and it's the Disney Rewards exclusive pin that's only for Disney Reward Visa members, or cart holders, I should say. And I do have a Disney Visa card, so I went ahead and grabbed this from the park. And this is actually really cute. It says Disney Rewards 2019 on the pin itself. It's, it shows Sleeping Beauty Castle, which is interesting because Usually I feel like it's like the Cinderella Castle, but the Sleeping Beauty Castle's been getting a lot of love this year. And then it has Mickey in front on a pin on pin design. I do like that 3D effect. It's a very cute pin. It doesn't move. However, I do like the 3D um, pin on pin design and it's just a really beautiful pin. And this was priced at yellow in the parks, which I believe is about $12.99 if I'm not mistaken. Um, but just a gorgeous pin. I do like that it has the stars on top and a very beautiful nighttime scene. And it's just a beautiful pin. So. Very excited about this one. When I went to the parks, they had these buttons that I had never seen before, so I grabbed a couple to have for my channel, and they're all food related, which is even better. But this one is a mini Mickey Mouse pretzel button. I thought that was really cute. And each of these, by the way, retail for about $2. They were on sale, so I thought that was a great steal. But $2 for this little Mickey Mouse pretzel button. Then I have, of course, the Mickey waffle, because you can't go to a Disney park without having a Mickey waffle. It's one of the best treats ever. 
I definitely love my Mickey waffles. The parks, don't you guys? And then finally, a classic Mickey ice cream bar. Um, so I don't normally buy these Mickey ice cream bars. I got them when I was a kid, but I prefer fresh, um, like soft serve ice cream or fresh ice cream from like Main Street or whatnot to the packaged ice cream. But on a very hot day, I will make an exception. And so these were definitely fun to have and get in the parks. And then they had just gotten these back in the parks, which I thought was interesting. I guess they hadn't all sold out, but they had another Lion King 25th anniversary mystery box. And I had opened this previously and I did get the, um, the, uh, the, the, the Jafar, wrong movie. I did get the scar pin that says life not, life's not fair, is it? And I also got the one with Nala that says I laugh in the face of danger. And then I traded for the hyena one that says we'd love to have you stick around for dinner. I still, however, am in search of the um, Mufasa one that says, remember who you are. I believe I just got the Simba one, I walk on the wall side to retrade. So there aren't actually that many that I still need. The Rafiki one would be cool, the one that says, it is time. Um, but however, since this was in the park still, I did go ahead and grab an extra box of this. So I will go ahead and open that up on my channel very shortly, along with the other pins I'm gonna show you in one second. And that's this. They came out with this release last month. And you know, as a big Mulan fan, I couldn't let these pass me by. So I grabbed three boxes. Yeah, I grabbed three boxes on my first trip. And then I happened to go back to Disneyland with two other YouTubers, Johnny and Rita. I'll show the footage on my channel from that very, very soon. But when I went on my second trip and I saw if they still had these, I went ahead and grabbed an extra box. So I have four total to open on my channel. So let's get into that unboxing in another video, but I will open that and the Lion King in another video. Stay tuned for that. But I will open the wishables now that I did the pins, so let's get into my final item of the day, which is to see what Little Mermaid item I got. Hoping for Ariel. Let's do it. And here we go. Okay, I took a peek. It's not Ariel, however, it is not Sebastian, so I am happy it is not a duplicate but I still need Ariel or Ursula. So, I got my boy Scuttle. He is cute and adorable, but I just don't need a plushie of him. So if someone is in need of Scuttle and has either Ariel or Ursula, reach out to me. Let's do a trade. Let's do a trade, shall we? <laughs> but there you go, there is Scuttle, and if I don't trade him here on this channel, I will save him for my live sale as well. But you can see he's like a nice white, um, fluffy material as well. These are really well made. I really like that they are nicely constructed. He's got a nice little gray underside to his wings, and he just looks really cute. He's got blush. You can't ask for more from Scuttle. However, he's not the one that I wanted. <laughs> okay, so that is my Disneyland haul from this most recent round. If I purchase anything new from my next trip, I will insert some footage of that because there is one pin that I'm hoping to get as of this Thursday, and I don't know when this video is going to go up, but at any rate, that is my haul. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing my most recent Disneyland purchases. As you can see, I actually got a lot more the regular merch on this past round than pins. I've been trying to be a little bit better and not get as many pins as I have in the past. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below. And I can't wait to talk to you in my next video because I have more hauls, of course, and more unboxing. So stay tuned.